It's a long match? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Ha! What a Dilk's move. Uh, okay. So I actually have no idea how to gauge Matthew Dilks as any player other than Amulet and Lands, so... Uh, I, don't know I mean, he's just good. He's just a good player? He's just good. And you know what else is good? A G2 Lava Runner, turn one from Mono Red. Yeah, I, the way this matchup plays in, in oh. my experience, yeah, it's, just, it's literally just the mirror. Well, being on the play is obviously very... Okay, who do you think wins in the basics? Uh, def man. Definitely Matt Long, except for Matt Long, known for his Guru Lands, doesn't have 20 Guru Mountains. Gotta yeah, say that's kind of loose for sure. Got a little disappointed. Imagine, um, oh, man. But I was going to say, that I think the, the way this matchup plays, generally, uh, it's heavily centered around cards like, um, <coughs> excuse me, heavily centered around cards like uh, Experimental Frenzy and Chandra. Yep. Uh, these, like, incredibly powerful cards that are, are going to invalidate whatever your opponent's doing a lot of the time. Especially Chandra, it, it basically creates this huge life swing where your opponent can't really effectively attack Chandra because they're going to start losing the race. Yeah. Um, so I think the way this matchup is going to go is, you know, Unless someone gets a really aggressive uh, start early, um, they're going to trade off resources because their cards cost around the same mana. Yep. Uh, they're going to trade off cards until somebody sticks a Chandra or a Frenzy and starts to try and run away with the game from there. Okay. So Light of the Sage is going to be one of these card advantage tools we're going to see here. So you're going to have to play both these cards It here. looks like it. Wow. That's that. I mean, this is one of those fast starts I was talking about. Um, one of your best ways to uh, recover from a fast start is Chain Whirler because it kills Fanatical Firebrand. Uh, Pyromancer? Yeah, Viachino Pyromancer and a, a Steamkin yeah. uh, if your opponent's on the draw and hasn't cast a spell with yeah. it. So Chain Whirler is one of the best catch-up tools. And it's a 3 3 first strike, which just can't be attacked into a lot of the time. So, uh, But against a start that's uh, you know a bunch of 2-2s, uh, Chain Whirler doesn't do anything if uh, Matt's able to kill it. So, like, if, if Matt, for example, plays a Chain Whirler and it gets Wizard's Lightning, he's so far behind. Yeah, it looks like Matt's trying to really have a run away from him in this game. Yeah, I think I think what Matt's trying to do here is is try and, like, stymie uh, Matt's aggression. He's probably going to Lightning Strike one of these or Shock or whatever. Uh, like, he did have a Chain Whirler and decided not to go for it because he can just fall by, so far behind in the damage race. Yep. Uh, so he's just going to clear Matt's board, and if he has something like a Chandra or a Frenzy in hand, he's going to try and take over with that while keeping his life total high. That's, that's the key. Like... When I said that Chandra and, and Frenzy will take over the game, that's if your life total is high. If you, if you tap four mana to play one of these cards, and you're behind on board and on life total, you're just going to still lose. I, I'm going to trust you on that one. You are a mono red expert. Yeah, yeah. like I said, I, I'm one. Of, I'm like the fastest player in Ontario, mostly because I play you know, <laughs> aggressive decks. Oh, of course, of course. A master of aggressive decks. All right, so it looks like no fourth land for Matt Dilks. If he's sitting on a powerful effect like Experimental Frenzy or something like that. Oh, that's true. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to use their last name, their first names because. Right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so Long and Dilks. Sorry about that, Shaq. So yeah. <laughs> so it looks like so like like Dilks did his fourth land drop. So if he's sitting on one of those powerful card advantage tools that we that Sean is mentioning, he's not going to be able to uh, deploy them yet. It I, looks like he just drew a land. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Big draw step. So, uh, Long looks like he's. Uh, you know, a little bit out of gas here, possibly. He looks like he has one card in hand. It might be a burn spell. It might be a land. Uh, and and Dilks has, you know, cards in hand. He just needs to deal with this Chain Whirler. And then, like you were saying, uh, play one of these four mana cards to take over. Yes. Uh, it looks like he's just going for the Frenzy immediately. Yeah. Looks like Matthew Dilks has uh, one main deck Fire Artisan and four Experimental Frenzies. Yeah, I, I believe Frenzy is just the best card in the mirror. Yep. Uh, like, some people like to play a split of Chandra and... Uh, a frenzy, but honestly, frenzy has always been so impressive that uh, it's hard for me not to play three or four frenzy. Yeah, uh, looks like that's going to be a light of the stage off of this uh, experimental frenzy from Matt. It's going to reveal two runaway steamkins. Going to take a little top look at the top card of his library. Oh, it looks like uh, Long is also on four frenzy. Oh yeah, okay. So it's, it's just the four frenzy mirror match. Is, does, does, just, does Long have any fires in vein or no? Uh, no, he he has some in his sideboard. Okay, cool. Uh, pretty weak turn by Dilks. Uh, Matt's kind of being given a chance now because he can. Uh, Which Matt is being a chance? Sorry, Long. Long, <laughs> Long is given a chance, being given a chance because he's he's still being able to chip in for three damage. But I mean, Dilks might have an insane turn with Steamkin here, yep. and uh, if if, Matt, if Long doesn't draw burn spells, he's probably not going to be dealing any more damage. Like if if, if I'm Dilks, uh, I'm just chump blocking with that one one Steamkin this turn. Yeah, looks like. Uh, Long on a bunch of lands here, but Dilks was unable to play a threat with his Steampin, so Long giving it a, a brief moment of respite. Respite, eh? Respite. Respite, if you prefer. Respite. 
Lightning strike off the top. Yep. How lucky. This is where uh, Dilks hits a chain whirler and is just insane. Yeah. Even if he doesn't, I think I think Dilks is actually it's kind of crazy, but I think Dilks is just favored. Yeah. Honestly. Oh, play to land upside down. Is that tap for two mana or negative or reverse <laughs> mana? I'm pretty sure it offsets a mana. Wow, is it actually chain roller? Wow. wow, that's a chain roller. Yeah, you send for four, and then you can still use your your steamkin mana to add uh, more cards to the battlefield. Yeah. It's like a uh, long really needs to draw a uh, needs, frenzy. Yeah, if he draws a frenzy, he has another four lands to start casting spells with. But this is what I mean. I think I think Dilks is just favored from this spot. Like, it, it's it's pretty likely that he's just gonna kill him next turn. Like, actually, like. Uh, he'll probably go to Steamkin to 4-4. Uh, four, four. So that's 9 damage on the board. He needs one 3 damage burn spell to kill along. Yeah. Oh, Chain okay. that's I mean, that's, that's among the better draws. It's a good catch But up. probably not good enough, I, I, I think, still. Like, I think what Long needs to do is go next turn, you know, draw Frenzy, hit Lightning Strike, Lightning Strike, or something like that. Yeah, that would probably be his best way to catch up. I mean, that would be a way to just kill, kill Dills. Yeah, catch up on, like, Life Total. Okay, true, yeah, true, yeah. true, 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 <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Did you just get another Pyromancer was playing long Is this a Lightning time? Strike? No, Steamkin? Steamkin's good too, obviously. Yeah, oh, they're all good. It's all gas. Would you would, would you say Steamkin is a, is a good magic card? Uh, I would say it's pretty good at running away with games. Oh. I mean, it helps. It makes it sure you never run out of steam, you know? That's for sure. Uh, looks, like, looks like some math's going on. Yeah, I would assume I'm dead here if I'm long. This is some Matthew Dilks right here. <laughs> <laughs> I need this to stop. All right, big swing and in. Come in, seven damage, gonna fall. Well, I'm gonna fall to a brief three points of life. Okay, now he's at one. Oh god, look at this one steam mana, I think there's one mana floating at one. Fanatical Firebrand. Anything. Don't give him. Don't yeah. give Long a turn. Okay, so Long's literal only out now is to, to go frenzy into burn spells or light up the stage, double lightning strike. Yes, right, there, there's dead. that as well. All right, that's gonna do it for that game. I mean, and, and that just shows you the power of frenzy in the, in the mirror. Like, honestly, the, everything leading up to frenzy just doesn't matter as long as you're life total high enough. After you frenzy, you're just gonna win. Right. All right. So, uh, what are we working in from the sideboard here? Uh, so sideboard? You're the mono-red master, I'll let you cover this yeah, one. Yeah, mono-red master, dude. Uh, okay, so it looks like Long has four Dire Fleet Daredevil, four Lava Coil, three Tibble, two Rekindling Phoenix, and two Chandra. So I'm inclined to bring in the Chandras, uh, the Rekindling Phoenixes, and uh, Lava Coils. I don't think you, and, and like possibly Dire Fleet Daredevils, it, that's just a lot of cards at that point. So I'm not 100% sure on what he's going to do. Uh, I'm going to look at Dilk's sideboard, and then I'm going to try and figure out what I think they'll do. So um, Dilk's has one Chandra, three Tibalt, two Darfly Daredevil, four Lava Coil, two Rekindling Phoenix, three Warboss. So now that both players have access to four Lava Coil, Phoenix isn't the Mirror Breaker that it used to be. Uh, before in the Mono Red Mirror, uh, Phoenix would be either... Your opponent just wouldn't be able to kill it, or they'd have to try and shoot two burn spells or use a chain roller to finish off the zero one. Uh, now that Lava Coil exists in the format, uh, it's much easier to kill, so I'm not certain that that's the four drop you want over things like Frenzy and Chandra, because if you bring them all in, you're at like eight four drops, which is probably too many. Um, so what I think I like in the mirror is definitely cutting the Fanatical Firebrands and the Viachino Pyromancers, because those are easily dealt with by, uh, by Chain Whirler. Uh, next I want uh, definitely in the, the Lava Coils, uh, Chandra's, Experimental Frenzies, and like, I don't know if Long wants all four Dire Fleet Daredevils, because it is so still something that dies to Chain Roller, even though it provides a two for one. Uh, so maybe something like two or three Dare Dire Fleet Daredevils, and uh, I think I want to be cutting, um, yeah, those four, which is Fanatical Firebrand, four Vision of Pyromancer, and then past that you could start cutting things like Skewer, because it's a, it's a, it's not going to be spectacled as often when you're on the draw, and you want to be using it as removal. So it's, it's one of your weaker removal spells uh, for things like, uh, like I said, Lava Coil as another additional answer. So things like that, probably. Okay. Um, yeah. You could also consider cutting Steamkin when you're on the draw versus cutting Viachino Pyromancer, because at least Pyromancer does something and is a wizard. But I still think I like always having Steamkin in over uh, Viachino Pyromancer. Okay, sure. 
Yeah, Steam can seem to like pretty not so but so that game. Yeah, so, Steam can just if it's unchecked, it's going to win the game, uh, especially when you have a frenzy out. Right. But the but the the uh, the idea of getting chain whirler right when you play it is pretty bad. Yeah, right? that's why like in the mirror you can't ever cast. Uh, your steamkin on the draw on turn two. Right. Uh, if you do that, you're just opening yourself up to the blowout that's you know Goblin Chain Roller. So generally, what you want to do is either play something that won't die, like maybe you play a, a one-two, uh, like the Lava Runner, and hold up like Wizard's Lightning or Shock or something, or you just hold up like a Lightning Strike or a Shock or or whatever. You just you just can't really jam uh, your steamkin into it. So that's why I was saying like maybe you can play Vioshino Pyromancer instead, but. It getting Chain Roller is still pretty bad, so right. probably don't want to do that either. Okay. All right, player's going to shuffle up here, going to get ready. I'm going to assume Long's going to be on the uh, play, and Duck's going to be on the draw. This isn't like the uh, the, 19 th the 1900s where we take... Oh, that's right. Uh, Long, for some reason, I was thinking Long won the last match. No, Long's on the play, so it, it makes Skewer a little bit better to keep in. But uh, I still think Skewer is one of the weaker cards in the deck that could easily be cut. I think Long is a good hand. I think he has a few lands. I saw a Lava Runner, see a Steamkin, see a Shock. All looks pretty decent. Yep. You you want you want the cheap plays in the early game with some some lands, and then you want to be drawing into things like Frenzy, Phoenix, Chandra. Like I said, I'm not 100% on Phoenix, but we'll see what the, what these players think. This play pattern seems familiar. I feel like we've been here before. <laughs> we're at, we're at, I think Long was on the play last time as well, right? Uh, yes, also. And the, he played the exact same mountain in his deck yeah. with multiple arts and mountains. I think Dilk's like snap blocks there, right? Yeah, I'm, did he block? I th assume he did. Yeah, th there's no reason to never block there. Like, yeah, like, you just have to block. There's a lightning strike. I think his opponent, I think Long should have played a mountain if he wanted to make that the attack. Even playing a mountain doesn't do anything. You just shock face twice. And then you're I think I'm easy. fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would trade two sh my lava runner for two shocks. All right, that's fair. I cannot argue with that. I can never argue with you, Sean. I I, I cannot. I, I'm not the biggest uh, proponent of the mono red. Dude, mono red's just the best now. I believe you. I've seen you play it. You're a master, <laughs> masterful pilot. So uh, this is this is where I really just don't like having um, firebrand in my deck. So this is where if I was Matt Long, I would have attacked with the 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 runaway. Sorry, not the runaway. The uh, Lava Runner, 100%. Yeah. Because if your opponent blocks, then you get to uh, shoot it with the uh, Fanatical Firebrand, and that lets you play around Chain Roller. Like, if, if Dilks had just had Chain Roller that turn, he's going to eat the 1-1 the one, one Firebrand for free, essentially. Right. And it looks like Dilks does have Phoenix in his hand. I'm pretty sure Long has a, a Lava Coil, so, you know, pretty clean answer to it. But it, it, it seems though as though, uh, you know, even though Dilks has cards like, you know, four... Uh, experimental frenzy to Chandra and to um, Phoenix. That he still wants to be bringing in Phoenix. There's the lava coil as uh, as expected. That's going to be exiled. Make sure we don't get a token from that bad boy. Yep. Swing in here for three, I believe, because now he has two and sorceries in his graveyard. And does Long have cards in hand? I think he does. I right? think he has one. It's, okay. it's thing is face down. So, so that's a card. Basically, he wants it to be uh, a frenzy or a Chandra. And like, he didn't he didn't hit his land last turn, so it's very possible that card could be a uh, four mana spell. Yeah. Oh, that's a, this is a weak turn by, by Matthew Dilks. Uh, it, it signifies, you know, a weak hand uh, in this spot. Uh, hitting removal, though, is just great. Right. Double oh, shock. Oh, double shock, okay. Now Dilks on one card. I think Long's also on one card. Yeah, so if, if Long has... Oh, it's Frenzy. Frenzy's in his hand. Yep, all right. Here we go. One Land, one drop. That's what I always pray for in these spots. <laughs> land, one drop how, with the full value. How unlucky. So... I think the way Long was looking at his card means that it's probably an instant. Right. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like it's an instant. Yep, so I'll keep shock you. Wow. Sean, man. This is why he's the mono red master. He <laughs> just knows. He can see yeah. the top card of his opponent's library before they can. I mean, your opponent's not going to, like, the way Matt was looking at his card, sorry, Long was looking at his card, you're not going to do that unless it's an instant, I think, so. Right. And we're going to see another upkeep lightning strike, I believe, here. Is this correct to just start clearing the top card of your library with your frenzy if you're going to draw a burn spell like that? Uh... I think when your opponent's this low, it's probably fine. Yep. Like, ideally, you want to be hitting creatures, but, like, if your opponent's getting pretty low, it's probably just fine to lightning strike here. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, if your opponent had creatures to remove, I would definitely be lightning striking. In this spot, maybe not, though. Like, like when your opponent has nothing. Yep. Using your mana to just, 
re reduce their life points probably isn't worth as much as you know using your mana to start playing creatures that you might hit. Right. So I noticed that long when he uh, played the mountain off of the um, oh direfully Daredevil. It's gonna be played as a threat. But I noticed when Long played the mountain off the experimental frenzy. He, cho he put it upside down after putting it correctly. Is that to signify that he already played a land? Yeah, that, that's what Dilks is also doing. Okay, that makes sense. It's just an easy way to keep track. I like it. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. All right. Well, who's favorite in this situation? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my guess is that the player at 20 life with an experimental frenzy in play <laughs> is probably favored. But uh, Dilks has one more land than Long does. Oh, makes so that's main definitely an, yeah, definitely a consideration here. Man, experimental frenzy is just an interesting magic card. Let me tell you, I do in fact own four foil ones, waiting for that big spike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just wait. Have for you it. played the uh, the affinity deck? That I have. So okay, Long just. Didn't play a land or a spell, so there has to be a four mana spell on top, right? Right, has to be. Or it could be a uh, burn spell that I guess he didn't want. No, that would make no sense. No, he, he would have just yeah. fired it off. Right. Okay, so Dilk says action. Yeah, next turn. Next turn. Yeah, next turn he's got all the juice in the caboose. Yeah, so this is where Long just wants to hit. He's looking at it on upkeep. Okay. Maybe it's a Chandra and he's really hoping he gets yeah, put it into like, play. Yeah. If I just flip this into play, what happens? Yep. Oh, oh okay, okay, well, I mean, you called it. <laughs> So I, I think this is kind of kind of checkmate because Dilks has to kill Matt before this Chandra kills him. Yeah. He he can't attack Chandra in this spot. Chandra's gonna deal way too much damage to him. Right. And another one. Another, another one. one. And another one. <laughs> Alright. Alright. So he did I don't know if he's looked at the top card of his library or not. I think he probably didn't. Yeah. Probably, probably couldn't play it, whatever it was. Yeah, he I believe he looked. Okay, yeah. So he cleared the top card off with Chandra, that's what you want to be doing. Uh, so when Chandra and Frenzy are in play, uh, common play pattern is to cast and, and play whatever card you can off Frenzy. And as soon as you hit something that's either like another land and you've already played a land, you want to clear it off with Chandra. Or if you hit something that's four mana, uh, like in this spot he couldn't cast Chandra anyway, but let's say uh, you know, you're on eight mana and the first card you see is a Frenzy. Maybe you just want to exile that Frenzy with Chandra right. so that you don't have to spend four of your mana on it. Right. All right, Lava Curl is going to be cast here from Probably Dilks. just has to be Frenzy here. That's the only card that can ever catch you up from this spot. Yep, he agrees. Dilks agrees. And that feels bad. I got, I'm going to put these two really good yeah. cards into exile. <laughs> I mean, his one Light at the Stage turned into a Phoenix and a Light at the Stage, yeah. which turned into, uh, I think, another Light at the Stage and, uh, and uh, Experimental Frenzy. Yeah. So all of that was just to get the Frenzy up. Right. Lava Runner going to be the play. So, if you see enough burn to kill Dilks, do you start shooting your own Chandra? Just for the, the you know, the rubbins? I think you just... <laughs> I was gonna say, I think you just neg seven it, right? <laughs> but yeah, sure. Like, here, let me read Chandra. I wanna read this card real quick, make sure I know what I'm doing. I'm... It looks like Long is getting a little unlucky with his shot. Oh, wow. All right, wait, Did, sorry, what? Dilks, okay. I think what just happened was Long only hit a, uh, uh, a get to Lava Runner, and I think he just hit lands, even yeah. though he cleared with Chandra. And then Dilks untapped, played a land, and then didn't play anything and passed. Oh. So he hit land, land. So yeah. Dilks, on top of already being super far behind, also hit the worst possible. That's a Matthew Dilks move, if I've ever seen it. Yep. Getting I mean, unlucky in top eight, you know? See, see the thing is, when you're already super behind, you might as well get unlucky in those spots so that when you go to game three and you're ahead, you just get lucky on top of being oh, ahead. Oh, 100%. That's wise. Very wise. All right, so we're going to go into game three. You're going to give Dilks the edge in game three, I imagine, then, because um, of He's being on the play. play. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the play is huge. The play is worth, like, you know, like 10 life points or whatever. Like, what, what is your match win percentage on the play as mono red in the mirror? Would you say, like, 60-40, or are you talking, like, 70-30? I don't have numbers for this, but it's probably something like 60-40. Okay, cool. Like, uh, the when, when people were testing best of one for Arena, uh, their their win percentages were super skewed by play draw Right. Uh, when I was looking at them. Like, it, I, I think it's probably something like 60-40. Right. And, and, and that's obviously huge. Uh, I think Dilk's deck does have a lot of four drops in it right now. So having one less card makes it less likely that you're going to be able to play a four drop on turn four. So I guess there is that as like some sort of, you know, silver lining for long. Right. But I don't know, Dilks is still definitely ahead here. I like it, both players already shuffled up. Let's go in under 35 minutes. I feel like 
from what I can see, Dulks has a pretty good hand, unless he has no lands. Yeah, okay. I mean, he had it looked a good like hand <laughs> because all the spells were good, yeah. but he had no lands. Unlucky for him, Dulks. Yeah. Looks like Long going to keep his hand. So, who do you think is favored from this spot? Uh, I think Long is because he's wearing a Raptors hat, showing pride for his local team. Oh, that's definitely true. And guess what color the Raptors logo is? What's that? It's red. Oh, my word. Is that a coincidence? I think not. Exactly. Matt Long definitely knows what he's doing. We're going to see the, the Battle of the Mats. See who comes out on top. Mm -hmm. Matt, I mean, Dilks does have two letters on him, or three letters. So there's a big advantage there. Shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shuffle. <laughs> oh, you just had a stroke, buddy. All right, going to go to six here. See if Matt has some better cards. It took some lands and spells. We're going to scry. Let's tap a little bit. Is that the Simic Growth Chamber he needs? <laughs> oh, man. I have played Dilks a few times, and I don't think I've ever beat him when he was on Amulet. Yeah. I played him exactly once, and he was playing lands in Legacy. And he crushed you. And I was playing Death and Taxes. And he crushed you. Yeah, I wasn't close. Exactly. He played a Tabernacle turn one, no fear. I was like, you oh, think I'm if dead. you were playing Storm, you could beat him? Yes, very easily. I feel like that match was not very difficult. I feel like I was playing Miracles, I also could have beat him. And mm -hmm. I'm terrible at Miracles. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Land, oh, this looks familiar, except for Long is playing a different land for once. Ooh, la Lava Coil, the Lava. Is that, a, is that what you would call a worthwhile trade for Dilks? It's definitely not, but if there's nothing else to do with his turn, he just might as well do it. Yeah. Right. It, it also indicates probably a removal heavy hand by Dilks. And this is again where I really do not like the fact that Long still has these uh, firebrands in afterboard. Yeah. What if Dilks just untaps and plays a chain wolf? So, what was interesting to me is that Long chose to not play the lineup at the stage that was in his hand that he could have speculated. So, the reason to do that Spectacled, is. Spectacled, sorry, not speculated. <laughs> um, I was going to say, the reason to do that is. If you hit a four drop, there's no way for you to cast it if you light up the stage on turn two. Okay, sure. Uh, if you do it on turn three, you can play the four drop on turn four. Excellent. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily correct. Like, you'll, you will still do it if you, you know, for example, your land light, or you don't think you'll be able to spectacle the next turn or something like that. Yep. But there are a lot of spots where you just want to hold your, your light up the stage because it's more valuable later on because you can better use the, the two cards you get off of it the, the more lands you have in play. Right. I believe uh, also Don Dilks' turn he threw a Wizards Lightning upstairs to try to turn on the Lava Runner and then got shocked. So. Ah, yes. That, that, that did happen. That did happen. Uh, and how do you feel about throwing the burn at the face there to turn on your Lava Runner? Uh, it probably means that Dilks has uh, a Frenzy in hand. He's just trying to get rid of these burn spells? He, he has to have a Frenzy in hand if he does that. I think that's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, bam. There Sean, oh, Sean can see into his soul. Knows what he's playing. Knows what he has. I believe Dilks also, sorry, uh, Long also has a Frenzy in hand. So if he hits his fourth land here, it's just Frenzy versus Frenzy, but Dilks gets to untap with his Frenzy first. So it's just kind of RNG at that point. It's like, you know, when you play a Marvel and your opponent plays a Marvel, <laughs> you know, you just leave it up to fate. Yeah. You, you like, oh, that's so funny. We're going to see... Uh... If Matt also wants to play yeah. the game. Do you think Matt, both players just flip their decks on top? Uh, like, <laughs> like just over, wins. Two wins. Uh, that's, that's basically what's going to happen. Like, I don't think Long has options right now. Like, he, he has a Chandra, but Chandra's going to get overpowered by this Frenzy. He just has to play Frenzy. That's just the most powerful thing you can do here. Uh, and that's the only way he can overpower his opponent's Frenzy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just... I, 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 like, I'm, I, I don't think I agree with this, but I feel we'll like, see. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so here we go. We're going to see the first Experimental Frenzy turn from Dilks. So Dilks got super unlucky last time. Do you think he's just locked to get incredibly lucky now? Might be. He shocked his opponent's face. Notice, notably not going after Chandra at all. So, yeah, like, again, this goes back to what I was saying last game. When, when your opponent plays Chandra in the, the Mono Red Mirror, it's incredibly difficult to actually... De like, you can't realistically deal with it. Like, you're going to be dealing five damage to Chandra and then get dealing, dealing dealt five back. Like, it's not something that you can spend time doing, because right. you're going to put yourself too far behind doing that. Right. Looks like he's going to... Looks up. like he's asking if he can uh, sp spectacle it off of... Uh, Slapcaster Mage? Yeah. I think you can. Can you? I think you can. All right. You I can't. believe because it just says you can cast this card for its spectacle cost yeah. if your opponent has, and Direfully Daredevil just says you may cast the card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Like, you can't play... Uh, you can't pay alternate costs, but I think you can pay additional costs and... Uh, and the certain alternate costs... Uh, 
What's the, what, are, what is force? Reduced costs. So, uh, for, for force is an alternate cost. So yeah, you can't pay alternate costs. But you can, you can, if you tormenting voice, for example, you can pay the additional cost of discarding a card. Yeah, it just says you may cast this card this turn, so I believe you could. Yeah. For inspection costs, that makes sense to me. But uh, we're gonna get a judge ruling here. We'll make sure the professionals know what's up. It looks like there's a judge call, so they can find out as well. I'm, I'm almost certain that you can spect, uh, fuck you, specul. <laughs> The spectacle. Speculate it. <laughs> My bad. Oh, well, yeah, it would make sense that you could based off of the just what the cards say, but uh, yeah. I've been wrong before. Oh, definitely. I'll be wrong again by the before yeah. the, this round is over, probably. So what does Chandra's negative seven do again? It's so uh, so you get to reveal your top seven cards and you can cast them that turn. But the bigger part is that you're removing seven loyalty counters from Chandra, so you deal seven to your opponent. And can it only go face? It can hit other uh, planeswalkers as well. Okay, so here's a fun little piece of trivia for you that I saw on Channel Fireball, reading an article earlier. Shall I grill Spellbreaker? No, but if you have Blazotep plating in your hand... Oh. That's you, it's the same thing. You have to shoot yourself. Yeah, exactly. It's so funny. It's the same thing. Gross Spellbreaker and Shalai do the same thing. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, okay, same thing. But this isn't limited, so it's more likely to happen. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Wait, Shalai says your planeswalkers are... No, Shalai makes you... Uh, and your other creatures. Yeah, you you and other creatures hexproof. Yeah. So if you have no planeswalkers out, Chandra has, has to, to shoot, shoot herself. Yeah, shoot herself. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Same with uh, Girl Spellbreaker. What does Girl Spellbreaker do? It makes you hexproof on your turn. Oh. Yeah. Big potty mouth on stream. Am I right? Can we get a report for Sean Dolly Wall on stream, please? Wait, what happened? Don't worry about it. <laughs> what happened? All right. So we saw the frenzy get played. We saw some spells be cast. Oh. Yeah. Now, so so this is what I meant. Long. Played Chandra, it did nothing for two turns, and then he played Frenzy. Right. So now he's in the same spot, but way, like, pretty far behind. So my guess is that Matt's not long for this world. You <laughs> see a lightning strike go upstairs. Yeah, long is definitely very far behind. Gonna swing across for a big four. It looks like Josh is getting in trouble for the, the, the big potty mouth he has. That's unfortunate. Josh, you better tighten up a little uh, bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't talk ever again. I'll just mumble. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> you, you becoming a rapper, dude? Yeah, you know me. Rap god. Rap god. So Dilks, I don't think, hit anything here because Matt's going to stun tap and three lands are untapped. So that was a little unlucky from Dilks. Probably they're hitting a four mana threat or a, another land. So it looks like there's an instant on Long's top of deck. Long is at two points of life. So I think the only instant that you're going to tank about here... Oh, he's at two. Yeah. Oh, okay, then you, I, I don't see him ever winning this game. Well, I mean, Dilks can literally hit double land. For like, yeah. Yeah, and then you for might. For a while, I guess. Yeah. I mean, your Chandra will get to deal seven damage to them. So there is that. I think you don't, you think you kind of want, you kind of have to hit Chain Roller. Because it's a way to pressure while also dealing with the Dire Fleet Daredevil. Yeah, yeah Light of the Stage is pretty terrible here. There's the land for turn. Chain Roller would be nuts. You'd also get to specta uh, spectacle the uh, light of the stage. Get to speculate the light of the stage? Yeah. I'm just going to call it that from now on. Oh. Oh, he just has to cast that. Okay, he got a blocker at least. Blocking is pretty powerful. That's exactly what Monored wants to do. <laughs> I mean, it's not over yet, right? Dilks I, I assume that, that Long is dead. I assume that Dilks literally has anything. Oh, there's the first land. Okay, okay. Is he going to blow up the Frenzy and just kill him? Going to cast Light of the Stage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's over. He's, he's uh, going, yeah, it's over. Oh, uh, that was funny. If you... <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I mean, it almost happened. He had multiple yeah. lands. So right. I think the match will play out about as we expected. You know, Frenzy was the, the centerpiece. Uh, Dilks won game one when he had a Frenzy. Long won game two when he had a frenzy, and then Dilks won game three because he played his frenzy before Long played his frenzy. Absolutely. I think we need him. Where's the mono red enchantment hate? Am I right? Exactly. That that mirror was a lot of fun to watch. For sure, for sure. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be back, I guess. Yeah, we're, are we doing an interview? We with might the, do, we might do an interview with one of the one of the mono red players. Okay. Get their insight on the matchup. Get their insight on the matchup. I would like to I'd like to hear two mono red players talk to each other for a while. Okay. So. But, that um, sounds exciting. Definitely gonna, definitely gonna take a moment here and we're gonna see if we can uh, get an interview.